Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Today is Motivational Monday. I'm praying for an amazing week for all of us because we are going to be talking about being in community. You know, I concluded our series called Be the Church, and the tagline from yesterday was Be in Community. Having the right people in our lives to spur us on towards good deeds, having the right people in our life that would be able to shift our perspective from fear and worry to more love and peace. And so it's important, it's crucial to have those right people in our lives. And our story, our scripture comes from the book of Acts. And this is right after Saul, the persecutor, gets this amazing encounter of Jesus and completely transforms his life. And this is right after that. Let's see what Saul does in uh, his life right after this encounter with Jesus. So Saul spent several days with the disciples in Damascus. At once he began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the Son of God. So what did he do? He immediately shifted his perspective. Instead of persecuting Christ followers, he was telling them, hey, Jesus is real. He is the Son of God. He had this amazing, real, genuine encounter with Jesus Christ himself. And he was compelled to tell others about him. And all everyone was confused and astonished in verse 21. And they said, Isn't he the man who raised havoc in Jerusalem among these who call on this name? And hasn't he come here to take them as prisoners to the chief priests? Yet Saul grew more and more powerful and baffled the Jews living in Damascus by proving that Jesus is the Messiah. After many days had gone by, there were there was a conspiracy among the Jews to kill him. But Saul learned of their plan. Day and night they kept close watch on the city gates in order to kill him. But his followers took him by night and lowered him in a basket through an opening in the wall. When he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his journey had seen the Lord and that the Lord had spoken to him and how on the, in Damascus, he had, he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. And so our motivation today is to be those friends that Saul had that watched over him and lowered him in a basket through a hole in the wall and also to be a Barnabas. We need to be a Barnabas to people. We need to, we need to have the Barnabases in our life that believe in us, that encourage us. But my challenge for all of us today is to be a Barnabas. Be somebody that you can just be their encourager, that you see the potential in them and that you just, you empower them. So be that friend today. Hey, may God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure you turn in tomorrow for another daily dose for spiritual growth.